Good evening, everybody. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank EQ Magazine and Anand for giving us a chance. Uh, basically, uh, not into manufacturing technology or core technology, but uh, our company is more into applied engineering, and uh, we try to add uh, value to the client at the design and customization end. Uh, so, why renewables? I think I will really skip this slide because. Uh, but typically one or two points I would like to cover is because of the need and economic activities required, uh, renewables is something which will really help us to curb pollution while people movement, goods movement and other all activities cannot be curtailed by the government. So the plan is to move to renewables which as an alternative can help us move forward in a sustainable manner. Uh, solar PV systems of course everybody is from the industry so we don't need to sell solar but uh, it of course, makes much more sense because it is modular and scalable. Uh, these have been all covered by my earlier uh, esteemed uh, sessions uh, speakers. Uh, here is something which I would like to touch upon. Uh, even though being from the solar industry, uh, trying to bid for small scale solar farms as well as rooftop solars, uh, we have a slightly different perspective as far as uh, solar installations uh, in the country is concerned. Uh, we feel solar mega farms actually lock in a lot of scarce resources in the uh, in the country. So then even the rooftops also do that. Then very high transmission and distribution infrastructure cost, TND losses varying between 15 to 23 percent. And of course, uh, thefts, which is additional to this. This is all again required to deliver the uh, finally the energy to the consumer. Uh, we have all been hearing about financially distressed discoms how they are not uh, allowing evacuation of uh, uh, energy from the uh, operating assets. And uh, of course, uh, in a country like India, we still don't have a developed ecosystem for the disposal uh, and uh, environmental hazards which the modules and uh, the installations can have after their operating life. And uh, what we then recommend, we always uh, would like to recommend that on-site uh, installations, which is basically you generate very close to your consumption, should be the way ahead uh, for the country to take care of all these issues. Uh, typical installation potential when we talk about uh, for a semi-urban area, not talking about Mumbai or Delhi, NCR or uh, the large cities, but others, a conventional solar system with a 10.5 square meters per kilowatt peak of installation actually just uh, enables an energy independence of 10 to 15 percent for a building structure. We have uh, elevated building uh, integrated solutions uh, which can enable about 40 to 45 percent of energy independence and uh, we as an innovative company has now also developed uh, solutions which can uh, you know install on the facades also so which would help you to generate uh, and uh, have energy independence of about 70 to 80 percent. So the paradigm shift needs to be in not going for the conventional solar farms or the conventional rooftop systems, but trying to utilize every cubic square feet or square meter of a structure. Uh, we in our, uh, what's our value proposition? Of course, we have the right experience of professionals uh, in the house designing team, uh, and panel team of experienced professionals. Uh, we have uh, association with leading architects, PMCs, smart city consultants for promoting this uh, path breaking solutions. And of course, we have emphasis on the adherence to the best operating practices. Uh, the, uh, you would have been uh, hearing and seeing the problems which a lot of structures are facing, uh, whether it is in Mumbai, the recent fire or even in London which happened. So for the canopies or the rooftop uh, uh, areas which are developed by not so fire friendly uh, uh, materials. So we have basically designing our system with fire class rating A. The modules and structures can withstand almost 220 kilometers of our living loads. Uh, we can offer leak proof services and uh, 30 years of manufacturers and third party warranties are there. ROIs are very inter interesting even though these systems are a bit premium. Some systems designed by us, uh, which will now be in the installation stages. We, we have been actually engaging in almost 12 months to 18 months of uh, in, uh, engagements with the clients right from the design concept stage of building. And then the stage which comes wherein we can then go, with, uh, go ahead with our installations. 
So this is one of uh, Bangalore's for which we are doing. Uh, this is for uh, ITSEs at Park for which we are doing uh, uh, design the system now, which installation should happen somewhere around uh, next three months. Uh, we've also proposed a design for a facade. So typically you see uh, south side, uh, the tendency in India is to have aluminum composite panels or ACPs. So we can give a full uh, facade in the south side and we have designers which can give the facade set and a combination of existing materials like glasses and ACPs also. Uh, this is again one health club that we are designing which is going to be coming up in Pune. Uh, so we have a potential which is talking about residential industrial buildings, commercial structures, parking base, charging stations, sports arenas, metro stations. So we've already submitted designs to one of the metros in India. Uh, out of the 60 stations, they are trying to consider this for two of their stations. Uh, this is a photo of an actual parking lot in uh, Europe, Spain basically, where uh, this is also serving as a charging station. And now with the, uh, the uh, emphasis on EVs, this is something which would be uh, the need of the future. So thank you everybody for your attention.